Well, tonight, while many people are concerned about being diagnosed with COVID-19, business owners are worried the virus will lead them into bankruptcy. And good evening, I'm Monique Minglavin. I'm Steve Rabel. The stock market took another huge tumble today. The Dow was down more than 2,000 points. That's almost 10 percent. The Nasdaq and S&P were uh, significantly down as well. The coronavirus is sparking fears not only on Wall Street, but local businesses are suffering. According to new data from the software company Homebase, 4% of Seattle businesses closed because of the coronavirus. Cairo 7's Amy Clancy is live on Capitol Hill with their fight to stay open. Amy. Well, Steve, this is Tara Plata, and the owner and chef here has been cooking in the city of Seattle for more than 30 years. She has experienced economic downturn before after WTO. 9-11, the dot-com bust, two different recessions. But she told me today that the coronavirus, which is keeping people inside their homes now, has been the worst economic downturn of all. I've seen a lot, been through a lot. Tamara Murphy isn't hiring the nearly 30 seasonal employees she usually does this time of year to staff her Capitol Hill restaurant, Terra Plata. In fact, she's worried she may have to lay workers off because business is drastically down. Nothing compares to this. Why? This is like a tsunami. Um, it happened very quickly. And the difference is, of course, we don't know where the end is. Already, we've seen restaurants close, uh, where in a matter of a week or two, they have become insolvent, not able to make payroll. One of those closures being blamed on the coronavirus is Ariba Cantina in Ravenna, owned by Ryan Suddendorf. When it came time to process payroll, uh, I had to make the tough decision to close the restaurant. Feared the, the usual stuff, you know, people not coming in, uh, building the wrong concept, not having good food, not having good service. Uh, never once did you think that a, that a virus would be the, the, the nail in the coffin for you. It sucks. It's, it's really hard. Shota Nakajima opened a new restaurant just yesterday, Taku on Capitol Hill, not far from his acclaimed Adana. He and the chef owner of Kamanegi in Fremont are worried for their businesses, but mostly for their employees. Tip extra to the people who are working tonight. Give a little extra. They're not, they have bills to pay. And, you know, as much as I would love to, I have to keep the lights on and it's hard for me. So a little, any kind of help would be super, super helpful. Many people cancel. I have only few reservations each night. So far, the state and the city of Seattle have launched loan and unemployment support programs specifically for small businesses. They're talking about maybe some, some tax incentives, some payroll incentives to, to do things. But what's happening for, for the average small business? Probably not enough. Part of the reason why is we've never been here before in quite the same way. John Howie owns four restaurants on the east side, including one on the Microsoft campus that is currently closed because of coronavirus. He's doing everything he can to keep the other three open. It's our position that we want to take every safety measure possible to make our guests comfortable and to meet what really is being mandated by the state and the governor and the King County Health Department so that we can help quell the, the spread of this disease. Now, all of these restaurants we spoke with say they clean like crazy, but they're also changing how they do business. John Howie and Tara Plata are both offering curbside pickup. Put in your order. If you don't feel comfortable eating inside the restaurant, you can pick it up. They also are really talking about gift cards because they say you can buy these now, and if you do not feel comfortable being in a big crowd, Go ahead and use it when you do feel comfortable coming back into public. They say these things can help them get through this very tough time. And we are talking about some very celebrated chefs, both locally and nationally. One of them even beat Bobby Flay. So if they're hurting, you know that this problem is citywide. Reporting live in Seattle, Amy Clancy, Cairo 7 News.